Hello violin parents. In this video I'm going to explain a little bit about what's going on, what we're looking for in the bow exercise, out the door the birdie goes. First of all, the birdhouse. I bet you have a birdhouse around home. If your child wants to, they can decorate it by putting stickers on it, uh, drawing and writing on it. If it gets smushed or destroyed, no problem. I sure, I'm sure you have plenty of extra birdhouses that will appear. Um, we'll want the child to hold this in their left hand on their left shoulder like this. And the birdhouse serves two purposes. One is to keep the bow hair from touching the skin on their neck as it's just going inside the cardboard, which won't hurt it. The oils from the skin will, which is not good. And the other purpose is to help keep the bow in line so that it's not going all over the place, but simply going back and forth and that helps your child learn to play with a straight bow. Um, it may help your child to have a pretend birdie, whether a tiny small clip or a piece of tape or sticker, um, and a part of the bow that is hidden inside the birdhouse when we start the exercise. We want to start from a square of the arm, and this is uh, where the real crux of this exercise is. We're imagining that this upper part of the arm is the wall, which shouldn't move when we open the door. And here is the door, and we're going to start with a nice right angle there and just open, and not hyperextend, just gently open and close back just to approximately the square again, not too much with the hands too close to the body, just from the square, open, close back to the square, open, close back to the square. They're learning to get that elbow joint flexible and moving when they bow, training the muscle memory so when they play that will hopefully cooperate for us and produce a nice tone.